Hello everyone, Eddie the Magic Monk here. Today I just discovered that I actually don't have a video on Pythagoras theorem, which is, I guess, one of the most important equations in math. So I thought I'd write a video, uh, make a video to show you um, what it is. So basically, the equation is c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So what is C and A and B? Well basically if you draw a right angle triangle okay if you draw a right angle triangle then the longest side is always the side that is opposite the right angle right the right angle is here these two sides that are touching it will never be the longest side. The longest side is always the side that is opposite the right angle. So you label the longest side C, and the other two sides you can label as A and B in whichever order you like. So I'm just going to put that as A, that as B. And the equation is that whatever C is, C squared is going to be equal to A squared plus B squared. Now, Notice that I did not write C equals A plus B. That is totally false. Okay, if you think that you can just square root both sides, if you can just square root every term and, and write C equals A plus B, A plus B, then this is wrong. Don't ever do that. Okay, now, so let's talk a little bit about why this theory works so basically if you try to draw a square okay if you try to draw a square using a as one of its sides okay so let's draw a square right here where every single side is a and then let's say you draw another square where every single side is b so i draw another square here where every single side is b B, 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 probably can't see the lines right now. Let's use a different color. So that's B, B, B. All right, B, B, B. And then let's do one with the C. So draw a square right here where every single side is C. All right, probably doesn't look like a square. Then what we're saying is that the area of box A, the area here, plus the area here will equal the area here. And this will work with any right angle triangle. So that is the theory behind the Pythagoras theorem. So using that to solve a problem, okay, if I give you a right angle triangle, if I give you a right angle triangle like this and I tell you what the length of the two shorter sides are so let's say I tell you that this side is five centimeters and this side is six centimeters and I ask you what is the longest side so what you do is you label each side as a B and C C has to be the longest side and then you write the formula out C squared equals a squared plus B squared Okay, now you can substitute the numbers in. So we got 5 is A and 6 is B. So 5 squared plus 6 squared. Probably should have chosen a different number to 6 because that looks like a B, but this is actually 6. So I have C squared equals 5 squared plus 6 squared. Now 5 squared plus 6 squared, you can input that into your calculator. All right, let's bring up the calculator. So 5 squared plus 6 squared, and the answer is 61. So C squared is 61. Now, how do we find C? Well, obviously, you square root 61. All right, so let's square root it on your calculator. Square root of 61, and the answer is... 7.81 okay 7.81 centimeters which makes sense 
because um, C is the longest side. So 7.81 is longer than 5 and 6. So now let's try it with a different triangle. Alright, let's do it with this triangle now. And let's make the C side known to us. So C, let's say, is 12 meters. And let's say this side is 3 meters. And I don't know what the length of this side is. So labeling the sides, we have this is the C, and let's make that A, B. A and B, it doesn't matter which one's which. As long as you've got the C side correct, A and B are just the two shorter sides. So you have C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Now you substitute the numbers in, so C is 12, A is 3, and B is X. So we now, because we're looking for x, we're going to rearrange this formula. So we're going to move the 3 squared to the other side. So it becomes 12 squared minus 3 squared. All right. Now, if you're not sure why that is, let's give you another example. Let's totally unrelated example. Let's say I give you 3 equals 2 plus 1. Now, 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. So what did I do? I moved the 2 to the other side, and I changed it to minus 2. So that's what I've done here. I've moved the 3 squared to the other side. And now I can type this in the calculator. So 12 squared minus 3 squared. 12 squared minus 3 squared. And the answer is 135, so I can write that here. 135 equals x squared. Now to get x, you're going to square root 135. So square root 135, and you have 11.62 two decimal places um, meters. Which makes sense because x is shorter than 12, right? Because 12 is the longest. So we got x equals 11.62 meters. Okay, I hope that helps you guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.